everybody welcome. Another episode of On the Bench presented by Knowles 24-7, but a special one. A holiday-themed edition. Love is in the air. This is a Valentine's Day spectacular uh, on the bench, Knowles 24-7 edition. I'm here with Brendan Sinone. I'm here with Kevin Little. But the man of the hour, the man who took Twitter by storm with an effort of pure romanticism that Shakespeare himself be rolling in his grave out of jealousy. I'm here with FSU cornerback and hopeless romantic Jarian Jones is here with us. How you doing, Jarian? Oh, good. How y'all doing? Good. Thank you. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'm doing okay. I feel a little bit like insignificant. Like my actions compared to what you did for this V day, I am slacking. Mrs. Roland is not happy <laughs> with me, but I, we're, we will talk football. I promise for all the football guys, but it's funny. One of the, I, I, I really want to talk to you because Brendan Sinone found out that to woo someone to be your Valentine, you put together a very special, I believe it was a PowerPoint presentation. Yes, there was a PowerPoint. PowerPoint. That's awesome. So we I'm gonna talk to you how you came up with the idea, whether it worked or if it didn't. Spoiler alert, you got you gotta wait till the end. That's called a tease. We're gonna have my <laughs> man Kevin to kind of illu- just telestrate it like we do on X's and Knowles, look at the important points and just kind of go from there, man. But I really appreciate you. I really appreciate you being being on with us. And, you know, we're talking Valentine's Day. We're talking love. This was this was a season that Florida State fans really did love. And, and it's been out of a string of ones that, that have been a little rough. I mean, what were your thoughts on how you guys played this season? Maybe your play. Just give me your thoughts on what transpired over the past uh, 13 games. Uh, I feel like this season we really showed, like, the growth as a team and the belief in what Coach Norvell preaches to us every day, and that's the climb. So I feel like, you know, the season, there were ups, there were downs. But yeah. I feel like as a team, like, we grew together and started to really embody the clown, as Novell, as Coach Novell says. So, yeah, I just feel like this is a growth year, like, through, all, through everything we've been through in my three years here. I just feel like this year was a big growth year. Hey, Jarian, what does the C stand for in climb? Commitment. Hey. Oh, look hey, at the pop quiz. <laughs> <laughs> we did prepare him for that. That was all that was Coach Norvell. That's in the synapses, my man. Yeah. <laughs> Jari and Kevin is a he, he's a graduate assistant right now, so he's used to like testing yeah. people. So just watch <laughs> out for that, man. He can't help them with the pop quizzes. <laughs> but you talked about growth. You talked about a different feeling. When did you really kind of feel the team like coalesce? And when did you feel that growth really take place? Was it a preseason thing? Was it during the season? When could you feel that something was different? Uh I mean, I can make, I can go ahead and make it sound good, like oh, we came together as a team, like before the season started. Sounds good so far. Everything was just so <laughs> holly and jolly. <laughs> and my personal opinion, I think, like once we took those, like you know, we started four and zero. Everything, everybody mm-hmm. was thinking, you know, all the outsiders was thinking, oh, this and that about Florida State. And then we took those three losses, and how I just saw everybody just like it didn't phase nobody. We just came to work every day, and just kept ch- chopping at it, kept going at it. And I just feel like from that point on, I just feel like we just came together as like a team and just did what we knew we were capable of doing. I do like that. I almost bought the Holly Jolly preseason vibe thing. You <laughs> could have totally sold me on that if you kept going with it. But yeah, I like that. And that's that seems just right out of Coach Norvell's playbook, man. The adversity it brought you guys together with the response. You talked about growth. This was your third year in the program. How do you feel that you grew personally, whether it was, you know, meshing with the teammates, your style of play? Like, what what was the biggest takeaway that you got from this season, Jarian? Uh, personally, I just feel like it was like trust. Like, I started mm-hmm. to trust what was going on around me. I started to trust my teammates. I just started to trust what the coaches were telling me. And um, basically just believing in the process and how everything goes. So, yeah, basically just trusting everything and and there's a lot of guys that are coming in there's a lot of competition it's all it's florida state right so it's always going to be a very talented yeah. backfield it's dbu right i don't care what anybody else says no. for me it's dbu i'm very biased <laughs> and you're part of that now you're part of that tradition uh-huh. what do you see your role going forward as florida state continues to bring in more talented guys the younger guys start to develop you're a leader on the team a vocal uh-huh. leader what's your role going forward uh, maybe positionally if they talk to you about that next year give us the insight uh whatever we got to do to win <laughs> honestly whatever we gotta do to win whatever whatever they give to me to do i'm gonna give it everything i got and win 
That's any, any, and now, of course, and of course, I would expect nothing less from a winner of your caliber, that type of answer. Is there a position that you prefer, a role that you prefer at all? The one that wins. <laughs> <laughs> what a veteran. You're good, man. Co- Coach Ravel is going to love all these answers. <laughs> now, Jory, if I could jump in real quick, Trey, mm-hmm. uh, Jory, when, when you said the team didn't flinch after the th- three game losing streak, why was that? Like, what about the team? DNA made it to where you guys didn't tumble any further and you responded so well? Uh, I think it was really just Coach Novell just preaching to us, like, ad- like adversely. Like, of course, you know, everybody knows Coach Novell. You know, he's kind of <laughs> crazy, you know, but he's on us every day. Like, like, he makes sure that we're prepared for all the adversity that could come. And we went through adversity and we we're prepared for the moment. So we just took advantage of it. So, so I think it's easy and every coach when you get in that position is going to preach adversity, right? We got to fight through adversity. But the fact that you're sitting here remembering Mike Norvell talking about adversary means that you, you believed him and you trusted him. What, what do you, th- what has he done that has kind of built that trust? Uh, Just being there, like he's not one of those coaches that you barely see and not around. And mm-hmm. like, he's there early every morning screaming <laughs> early in the morning, like, Screaming good morning. Like he's around like every part of the day, everything we do, like he's there. Like he'll come talk to you, he's checking in on you, like he's like there. Like that's the best way to put it. Like he's there. Now, Jarian, this has become kind of a theme because I want to eventually get the answer that I, I would like to get. But you've been here for three years. You ever caught Coach Norvell on an off day, maybe yawning, didn't have his cup of coffee, <laughs> or the energy was maybe at only like a ninety two instead of a hundred? You ever caught yeah. him that in three years? And three years has never been one time. <laughs> never one time. That's what everybody else says too, man. That's 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 crazy. He's always never off. Like he's always on. <laughs> what about how, how long did it take you to get used to like that? And like when was the first time he, he screamed in the morning in the Moore Center and it did it scare you? I mean, there's never gonna be a time it's not gonna scare you because it is five <laughs> o'clock in the morning. You know, it's five o'clock in the morning, so there's never a time, but he just go like he just he just go all the time all, all gas time. all gas all so we're talking about coaching and with love sometimes breakups happen you your your db coach that was here when you first started marcus woodson is no longer mm-hmm. here can you talk about you know maybe the things that marcus woodson taught you the most when he was here and then touch on your relationship with new db coach pat sertain have you gotten to meet him what have the initial interactions been like just describe that for me if you could uh, cause Wilson was, a uh, was a great coach. Like we wish him the best in all his future endeavors and what he's got going on. But yeah, he just taught me on, um, like, you know, I went through a lot of injuries when I was here at Florida State right. or while I'm here at Florida State. And he just basically just instilled in me, like, just to keep going. Like it's always like a brighter side of it. Just keep going. So I appreciate him for that. Like just getting me through all the hard times and stuff like sure. that. So I appreciate him for that. And with Coach Sertain, like, that's my guy. Like, I've had some meetings with him. Like, <laughs> he just talked to me about just life. Like, he didn't – like, my first meetings with him, like, we didn't talk nothing about ball and like, they mm-hmm. was just life. Like, how you doing? Like, how you people doing? And basically just trying to get to know me. But, like, from what we've done so far, I like him. And, like, what he's talked to me about ball and stuff like that, like, X's and O's, I like him. And I think we're going to get a lot done with him. Have you guys already gotten into that? Like kind of X's and O's talk, like technique? Obviously, it's like the off season, but have you gotten to talk about that a little bit with him? Uh, Not a lot, but it's just watching what we did last year. Okay, perfect. And speaking of last year, you guys did a great job last year. It's setting up some really high expectations this year. Is that something like, how are you guys dealing with preseason hype for the first time at Florida State? Is there noise? What are the coaches saying about it? Are you reading the press clippings? Like, what's going on, man? A lot of people are saying a lot of good stuff about the Knowles. We just putting our head down and working. All that don't really <laughs> matter because at one time we were the bottom of the bottom. And now, so like now, I mean, you could say, people say we're at the top, however they want to put it, but. Either way, we got to work. Like, we got to line it up and play. So, no matter what, like, we got to go to work. So, the approach didn't change. Like, we working. Okay. Okay. I like that. I know the coach is going to like that, too. (laughs) You're you're right, man. You have seen it all. Like, and I'm interested in your initial decision to come to Florida State from Mississippi State. Right now, it is is a hot – it's a hotbed for transfers, right? It's a destination. 
when you came with your teammate from Mississippi State, Fabian Lovett, it was not. So why did you initially make the move to Florida State? What about it was enticing to you? And maybe what was the biggest thing that um, took you the longest to get used to in a really big transition from Starkville to uh, Tallahassee? Well, at first, I never really, like, was in tune to Florida State, like, before <laughs> like, coming out of high school. and Okay. And, yeah, like, I never was, like, in tune to Florida State, but – when I was in high school, I know y'all know Cam Makers. Uh-huh. Cam Makers. So, like, when he went to Florida State from Mississippi, like, that was big. We were like, whoa, that don't yeah. happen. So, when he <laughs> went, like, I kind of was – like, I was watching. Like, that's my homeboy. Like, my friends, I was watching them. Yeah. And so, I'm when I was being recruited, like, to Mississippi State, there was a coach named Terrell Booker. And mm-hmm. he was at uh, – he was my coach at Mississippi State. And he was from Florida State. So he used to always play his highlights before our games. Like, y'all got to look like this. Like, y'all got to be like this. <laughs> and so like, I used to, like, and I used to watch Deion Sanders and stuff like that. So I, like, I started picking up on the DBU, like, part of it. And then, plus, Coach Norvell recruited me out of high school when he was at um, Memphis. Okay. And then Coach Marr, the linebacker coach that was here, he was at Mississippi State my freshman year when I was at Mississippi State. So I really just went with what was comfortable for me. And then it being DBU, like you can't turn DBU down. <laughs> if you if you had to wear glasses, would you pick a pair like Coach Marv's? Or like what do you think of Chris Chris Marv's with his glasses game? Is that pretty on point? Yeah, he'd be fresh with the glasses now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't really have anything else. Brendan and Kevin, you guys might. I want to get into this PowerPoint. Do you guys have Let's any other it. football questions before we get into the meat of this? Uh I'm good. It's Valentine's Day. None of us are wearing pink or red. We're, we're not being very uh, celebratory, but that, that's fine. Let's get into the love part of this. That's okay. It's the real Valentine is in your heart, Brendan. It's all internal. That's what the Grinch said anyway. Jarin, where did you get the idea for this PowerPoint, man? This is some pretty high effort stuff. I'm very impressed. I got Okay. I, I was scrolling on Instagram one day, like a casual day, just scrolling. And a girl put on her close friends and she said, I wish someone loved me enough to make a PowerPoint about me. Oh. And like, she put some laughing emojis like it was funny, but it wasn't funny to me. <laughs> like, very I serious. That, I was like, this is like a great idea. And like, there was this girl, like, I, like I've been seeing her on campus. Like, you know, we've been texting a little bit and I was like, mm-hmm. is it? Like, this is it. This is the one. And so I put it together and I was like, okay, I got something. And I can't, for the people watching this on video, you're going to see it. This is a work of art. Bill Gates, eat your heart out. This is what technology was made for. This is <laughs> impressive stuff. And have you ever done anything like this before? This is quite the effort for a college so, student. I've never been like a lover boy type of guy. <laughs> not like nothing wrong with lover boys. Of, like, of course not. Nothing wrong with <laughs> but like that was never like my thing. But like now I done tapped into a different way of life and i think that's the way i'm gonna go you can never go back right the romantic side's been unleashed (laughs) (laughs) yeah you set a standard for yourself here man this is great see not every year they're gonna expect something better Mm -hmm. yeah you set the bar way too high man maybe you should have done like a word document or something like (laughs) maybe an extra like a spreadsheet it keep you on your a game and keep you going i'd like to see climb one percent better romantic every day day. one percent better all right right, you guys ready Yes, yeah, I let's cannot wait to share this with you all. All right. Reasons blank. We're going to keep it. We're going to keep it anonymous, of course. <laughs> Should be. Is that now? Is that a pet name for yourself, my man? Not How do you serious. pronounce that? Okay. <laughs> so I have a uh, like my best friend. He played for the Browns right now. His name Martin Emerson. Yeah. Like I call him Rency, but like you know his name Martin. But like it's basically like the Ency <laughs> part of it is like I'll never cross you. So like I love the it. is like my first name. So like Jens is like Jari. Jari, I'll never cross you. So like, right. like nickname right. kind of. Jar- I love Before it. we move on, I I gotta know, what's this color scheme? What's going on here? So honestly, I don't know. I just went with the one that popped. <laughs> okay, it does pop. I like it. What, what's your? Yeah, problem? It's very bright. Yeah. Google Flies oh, never give me too many like options, so I just had to go with the one that was just. Blessed. I mean, I was just thinking like usually people do like a pink or a red with some hearts on it. <laughs> You I don't know he's if it was like to... Bahamian flag themed or something like that. I didn't know if she was Caribbean or anything Wait, like that. But I'm trying to stand out. I think listen, that had to be flashy. Well, listen, when she's good opening all Gen of her C, emails and getting me. other emails, then uh, <laughs> I'm glad that yours is the one that stands out. The thumbnail stands. <laughs> all, right, all right, slide two. All right, let's. 
So I just had to put like oh, how nice. great she looked. Just so mm. it's like it's all like a like you know you gotta make the girl feel good. Like, yeah, right. Good you strategy. Know? So I just had to make that like the first thing. So now her mind is going. And I like this too. Three different pictures in a variety of different situations, like anonymous, anonymous lady of my heart. You look great. By a Everywhere. garden on the yes. steps, by it doesn't matter where you no. are, what your hair is looking like. This is this is good variety. Was this three different aesthetics? I just tried to put three different <laughs> aesthetics so she can know you just picture herself like boom. Yeah, I mean but she's with you. she's like at work here. This is her leisure, you know, by the garden, you know, and this is this is, this is nightlife. Like what they say <laughs> now, they say the angles. I call every angle. You did. Get every you did. And this is a straight on. We got a forty-five side. degree, yeah, then yeah, a little more to the side, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's true. I I recognize. <laughs> These are good lighting too. You you chose good pictures, man. See, Google Slides got me right. Shout out. For real. I agree. Hey, it, it, any great DB has to be ready for any kind of route that can be thrown at you. All situations come. Read and react. Read and react. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go to the next one. <laughs> oh, and then you gotta gas but, yourself uh, up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you got too, you right? gotta let you her know. Yeah. I gotta let her know, like, as good as you look, imagine <laughs> what it would look like beside how I look. Together. And Love then it'll it. just boom. With your yep. variety of different angles too, working hard as a hard as a hard working student day work, athlete. Day, day in the lab. That's right. On a comfy <laughs> couch, we can relax together while just getting chilling. ready to go Saturday out. Night. And then, and then look at look at me. I got a car too, honey. I'm a I I, I bring a lot to the table. On the way to on the way to tutor. Oh, oh an academic right man too. Look at that. <laughs> this is Both good, right? I understand. I we don't know the answer yet. We don't know if it was a yes or no. We'll reveal that at the end. But I think the odds are looking pretty good. Kevin, anything here that stands out to you as a uh, as a film analyst? See, I think I think I think this is a, an excellent slide. I think next year you can take it one step up. Maybe you could have. Maybe you could cut yourself out and like put yourself next to her so she can really visualize <laughs> how much better she would look next to you. You know, give that her that a image. great idea for next year's Valentine's. Year. Yeah, hit, hit me up. I can help you with some photoshops, man. Photo, 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 photo. Photoshop as the next step, the evolution, the one percent. Uh, I right. like it. It's good, good stuff, guys. Next slide, Kevin. Oh, now okay. So it's not just it's not just pictures. We got substance behind the style. These are the reasons to be my Valentine written out for for really good reasons. I mean, go ahead and explain your thought pattern behind these reasons, man. They are your right. reasons. So number one, I really just had a little note like I really been peeping you for a long time. <laughs> but it just the timing of my situation just never aligned at the right time. Right. But now I'm gonna take full advantage of the opportunity. And then two. You know, you just got to let them know, like, you did them make sure they are happy. Yes. Mm -hmm. As that, a married man, yes. You know, <laughs> so, like, you got to let them know, like, reassure them on that. And then three, like, I be, I like to think, like, I get fresh. Like, you can ask around on the team, like, you know, I really get fresh. Like, I, you know, I like to think I put, you know, I put it on. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> so, Nobody would I ever feel, question like, that. If I put it on and you put it on, that's, like, perfect. <laughs> Match and me then, in heaven. And then number right. four, we talked then, about this earlier. I this told you my one. new way. I'm a lover boy now. <laughs> <laughs> like that's just a new, this new wave. New uh, jarring. So I, I love I, it. I like, I like that this is basically like a reflection of the photos from the first couple slides, but he's put into written word and dug a little deeper now. So it's been a reinforcement of points. And you've checked out different. Yes, exactly. I love it. Very, very clever. Yeah, I just I love the integration of the climb. You know, it's you're getting one percent better on the field, but also off the field. You know, how does how does a busy man like yourself, you're a football player, a division one football player, you're in classes, you're getting tutoring. How how are you gonna how are you gonna make sure that her life is a fairy tale with Every all that day, other stuff? Quite a going commitment, on? my that's, man. That's that's a big deal, man. It takes what it takes. Sacrifice. <laughs> Sacrifice. Dedication hey, and hey, you put job with a capital J to emphasize like this is serious. Right, this is important. It's the flourishes. It's all about <laughs> the details. As a as a quarterback, you know, technique, it's all in the details, man. This is great. <laughs> Kevin, I gotta keep going, man. I'm hooked. I'm in. All right. I had to give her like reason of like Ooh, counter argument. Like, I can see why, oh, wow. Like, you know, like I can see why you may not say it. 
You this know? is confidence. This takes a lot right. of confidence, my friend, yeah. because you're kind of giving her the reasons to back out yeah. right in front. Okay. What did you think? What are the reasons she maybe could say no? See, number one, you know, I am an athlete and in the public eye, you know, we don't have a good reputation. They say with the with the ladies, they say <laughs> unfair, know, unfair, but not, true. It's not fair. It's not fair. Like, I just didn't think it was right. But I had to let her know, like, I'm aware of the stereotype. Mm -hmm. I'm a I'm better. I'm a, a rise above. And so, number two, you know, I'm from Mississippi. So, like, I don't know if y'all can tell by the accent. I'm a little country. So, you know, like. <laughs> Every now and then. You know, you from Miami. Like, y'all a little bougie. I don't know. <laughs> I'm lady. I don't know. Opposites then, attract, but you never know. It depends. It dep it's good to lay this out on the table. The number three. And then number three, like, honestly, there was no other reason you can honestly say no. <laughs> like, so, like, I just think I can make you happy. I love the third reason is actually, you know what? It don't matter. I'll still make it, you happy. It's like yeah. when you go in for a job interview and they ask what your weakness is and you say, I work too hard. And that's, that's. <laughs> It's the worst answer. Like as somebody <laughs> used to interview people, don't ever use that people that oh, are listening. Okay. It's the one that I've everyone been... uses. I like <laughs> to me, these reasons reflect the confidence of a defensive back. It's like, yeah, I'm from Mississippi, which is cool. Obviously I'm in the public eye as an athlete. Oh, that sucks. But yeah, other than that, I got nothing like I'm pretty great. So these are, it's almost a reinforcement of the slide before. <laughs> but it's not really very strategic. I like, man, you're going to have a great year on the field next year, man. You really <laughs> and off the field, up. clearly. Yeah. Well, we don't know well, we'll yet. See. We, don't we don't know yet. We don't know. Don't know. I, I would be shocked. I don't even know the answer. I know. You've got Kevin feeling all hot and bothered right now. Let's go to slide six. And, and then, then, you know, I just pop the question. Like ripping the Band-Aid off, just go. And so I just had to let him know. Like a quote that I seen. I don't know where it's from. I don't know who said it. But I saw it on Instagram, it. and it said, "I want to stay close to anything that calms my soul and give me peace of mind." What? Because that's all anybody want these days is peace. What a close! What a close! I'm a lover boy from Mississippi. I'm super fly. You're super fly. You got a car. You like standing next to flowers. <laughs> I made up two things that are really wrong with me, but they're actually pretty awesome. Will you be my <laughs> go right for the close? Don't waste time. Now, is this is this the last slide in the presentation, Kevin? Uh, yeah, it is. That's all we got. Well, Jari, the, the people want to know. We've been waiting. Do you have a Valentine for 2023? Yes or no? Tell us. Of course I have a Valentine. She <laughs> said, of course I will be a Valentine. She oh, said, go. made her day. Fantastic. <laughs> Any hesitation whatsoever? I can't imagine. I don't There's think no way. so. Doubt. Trey? There's no way. <laughs> There's no way. Jari, what was her reaction when you sent her this? Did, did you send it to her and were you there when she read it the first time? I gotta hear I gotta hear what the reaction is because people are furiously taking notes right now. See, actually I was in class. I made it while I was in class. It's a good use of time. So, honestly, when I sent it to her, it was like I wasn't gonna send it to her to like a couple of days, but I was like, I feel like I just accomplished something so major, like I have to send it to her right now. And so I sent it to her, and she didn't respond for like two hours Oof. when she was at work. So I thought, like, I was like, whoa, like, I, was, I thought I was out of there. And then Sweating, she responded, man. she responded, and she was like, of course I'll be your Valentine. That was the cutest thing ever. Oh, let's go. Mississippi, Miami, <laughs> together. The only good thing to come out of the 305 is Jincy's new Valentine, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> All right, man. So it, it, people are listening to this on Valentine's Day, Jari. And what are the plans? Home cooked meal? Are you gonna take her out a night on the town? What are you gonna do, uh, man? You got you, you set the bar high. Uh, honestly, I don't know yet. Study the but, playbook with her. But <laughs> I have a couple of ideas in the works. We just got to see which one fits the weather for tomorrow. I mean, you're a lover boy, so it's... you got to trust your intuition here. I just got to read and react. Re react to the weather. <laughs> the DB's guide to romance. This was very, very eye opening. Boys, do you have anything else for Jarian so we can let him go and plan his very love filled existence with his new Valentine from Miami? Anything else you'd like to ask this Casanova? I just want to say thank you. And I, I thank you on behalf of probably all the, the lazy bums out there like myself who haven't done Valentine's Day planning <laughs> yet. This is a good idea uh, and is a good sign of a good show of romance. So, 
So thank yeah. you for the uh, for the tip there. This will be helpful because clearly it worked out for you. <laughs> yes, I appreciate it. <laughs> Jarian, it was an absolute pleasure. I hope all of you guys that are listening to the On the Bench Audio podcast feed, I hope you like it. Guys, check out the video on the Knowles 24-7 YouTube. You've got to see this work of art that Jarian put together. And it's probably started him off on the first step of the rest of his life. Guys, <laughs> happy Valentine's Day to you and yours. Jarian, this was a pleasure, my man. If you, I, We definitely appreciate the time. We know you're busy either like wooing people or like becoming the best <laughs> defensive back you can be. Would love to speak with you again. Uh, just thank you for your time, man. Really appreciate it. Yes, sir. No problem. Happy Valentine's Day. Take notes. Take notes. Read and react. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs>